And remember, Sin and Light Gun allows gangster mode. Play gangster. I love the Sin and Light Gun and I love the Raspberry Pi. And so when I saw a bare bones image all set up for the Sin and Light Gun with the correct retro art cores installed, I thought, what the heck, I'll give this a shot. So let's go ahead and install this image and share with you my thoughts. So I found this image on backups.me and it looks pretty cool. It's from Mondego F and it's running RetroPie version 4.7.1. I'm just entering my controls right now on your screen. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller because this is one of the easiest controllers to get started with. But as you can see, it's just a bare bones system. It has just the RetroPie shell and then the ports here have all the Sindin light gun uh, scripts. Now it doesn't end there. There are a couple other things installed here. There's a hacked version of MAME 2016 and there's the hacked version of Genesis Plus GX and there's a RetroArch patch included. Uh, there's also other various configuration files for popular emulators pre-installed on the image but there are no ROMs. I was really hoping there was ROMs and I think maybe you know he or somebody else will release a ROMed version of this. That would be really cool but I'm going to show you how I added some games. It's very very easy. So um, this image is just 2.81 gigabytes, super small, super tiny. So with like an eight gigabyte micro SD card, a lot of these light gun games are pretty small. Now, um, in this video, I'm only going to be playing uh, arcade games and just showing you how to do that because you can still play Genesis, Super Nintendo, the Super Scope games, things like that very easily. But uh, what you do want to do is connect your Pi to your network, either via a cable or with Wi-Fi. And then all I did was I went over to my desktop computer here. I install, I have a hard drive filled with ROMs. I just use Virtual Man's ROMs for now. He's got a whole collection of, of light gun games, and I use that as like a cheat sheet to find out where which ROM what the wrong, correct ROM file names are. But you can also go on Google and just search what you want, like Terminator 2 Arcade ROM, and they're fairly easy to find. Once you find the ROM, you just drag it over to your Raspberry Pi over the network. You can see on the right side, I have my hard drive. On the left side of my Windows Explorer, I have the Raspberry Pi. I'm in the ROMs folder, and then in the Arcade folder. You just want to make sure you put the right ROM with the right system. And then all you have to do is reset your Raspberry Pi after you do this, and the game should show up in the right category. So as I was saying, that's pretty much it. Um, this is not preloaded in with any ROMs, but it has at all the different configurations and things. As I play the games here, you'll see uh, overall, it's actually pretty decent out of the box. There'd be some additional uh, kind of, you know, messing around I would do depending on the light in your room and, you know, uh, how you hold your gun and how far you are. You can kind of mess around with some of those settings in the emulator to kind of change like the X and the Y axis and things like that. But other than that, it was, um, it was it's a nice surprise. Now, me personally, I prefer the Sin and Light Gun on a PC because then I can play much more powerful games but the Pi can absolutely do, like I was saying, SNES, Genesis, Atomus Wave, MAME, PlayStation, um, Dreamcast, all that will run just fine. Here we are in my garage with my Lamborghini. But you know what's more important than my Lamborghini? Knowledge. New monitor, by the way. I went up to 32 inches. Also, new laptop. I'm running the HP Omen 3060 GPU. And don't worry, I always get a good deal on these. Monitor, open box, 1440p, 144 hertz, mono price special, 199 out the door. Laptop, bought open box from Best Buy, 1300 bucks. So it is pre-configured, the start buttons, um, the forward right button and then uh, the coin button is this button here. So you can see here, coins, and then enter. The sound is coming out of my laptop right now, so it's not that great of sound quality. But you can see I already have the frame set up. See that white border? That's the, um, the Sin and Light Gun frame. And remember, Sin and Light Gun allows gangster mode play gangster um, and then I should have my a key bound as well let's see it's probably either the one of the buttons on the left there it is see I shot my rocket with my forward button the great thing about the send in is uh, you know like I drop the thing and then I come back up look how fast that was that's not always the case with a lot of other guns um, so it's pretty cool that way Got the 
that helicopter there. So it's working great. Pretty cool. I mean, you could do all this yourself really easily, but I thought I'd check it out so now you don't have to. Let's do Hogan's Alley really quick. So Hogan's Alley changed to the MAME 2003 as the default emulator. So the MAME 2016, and that should boot the game. You just hold down A on your button while you're loading the game and it'll bring you to the boot. So let's see if this is working. We should, yeah, there it is. And round six. Headshot. Ah, uh, you got me. Um, and then let's try Alien the Gun Game with MAME 2003. Here we go. This is working pretty good. Got two bombs. This is actually working really good. Working really well. Burn! It's working really well, as you see. I haven't really missed a lot. What's my bomb button? There we go. Okay, so bomb button's on the right side there. Whew. Get the life. Final thoughts as I kill this boss. Really cool. I really like that it's not just the send and drivers installed. It's, you know, the extra patches on the cores and stuff. And so this was running right out of the box. A lot of my controls are pre-set up. And so I think that'll actually be great for a lot of people out there. It's going to run just fine. Um, I wish there was, like I said, a preloaded version with, like, you know, Time Crisis for PlayStation installed. Um, all the really good MAME games like Zombie Raid and Point Blank um, and Time Crisis, um, which run great on the Raspberry Pi, by the way. Um, that would be nice to see. Um, so, and maybe, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, taking some of the cores off here and putting it on your favorite you know, image that's already been built. You can do that. Um, or you can, you know, so you can, you can kind of borrow from this or start with this as your base. Um, but as far as what I'm going to give this, I'll give it a B plus, you know, it, it's, it's, it's good. Um, if you're hoping for a plug and play experience, I don't necessarily think it's plug and play, but it's definitely easier than starting from scratch. So with all that said, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. And uh, it's a good starting point for a lot of you out there. Oh, here we go. Boom. All right, that's good.